Okay, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21. Um, I am doing this video f for my um, very large, uh, fast growing Facebook group called Holistic Health Talk um, and for the internet. Um, this is how you can make, right at home, homemade cream of whole grain hot cereal. Okay, it, you can use any grain you want. In this case, I will be using Bob's Red Mill Organic Kamut. It says here the uh, um, the traditional grain of Egypt. Okay, and there it's got Egypt blackened out. Bob's Red Mill. Of course, you can use anything, but try to use organic. Um, I do, I usually do this with uh, uh, brown rice or um, I also have a bag of Bob's Red Mill Organic Spelt which is uh, originally from Germany, but whatever you like. You take the bag, alright, and, um, and uh, you um, cut it open of course. And just you know, pour it into um, a fine mesh colander. Pour the whole thing. As you can see, it it's long, like um, very large, thick rice. Uh, and uh, actually, it's shaped like spelt and oats. Too, you know an elongated shape but this one is um, darker brown than oats and spelt um, from what I understand Kamut is an ancient um, type of wheat it is um, older than the wheat grain and it, it's related to wheat but a more ancient Green. Right. Let me get it all. Now, what I'm going to do here is I am going to rinse it very well. I do this with all the grains, um, even brown rice, before I cook it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it flow into the colander. And um, and the water will continue to overflow until um, the kamut is completely washed. Uh, instead of me standing here holding the colander, I find this easier. I try not to put the um, the water pressure too high, so you don't lose any greens and. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It's, it's just going to start overflowing, you know, lower the water, and it'll wash eventually. It'll, it'll, uh, and af after it's washed, I'm going to uh, dry toast it in a stainless steel pot. Okay, and that will be the next step. So I'm going to take a break now in the video. Okay, the uh, Bob's Red Mill Organic Kamut is rinsing out really well. I have it on full blast of water uh, in a stainless steel bowl with a fine mesh colander. And uh, I'm not losing any grains. So the next step would be dry roasting in a medium sized to large stainless steel pot. All right. I always wash my grains very well, even if they're organic. Okay, this is part three of how to make your own homemade whole grain uh, hot cereal, cream of hot cereal. And uh, what you do is you pour 
the washed uh, whole grain. In this case, it's uh, Bob's Red Mill Organic Kamut, which is an ancient version of wheat. Okay. And in this case, I'm pouring it into a um, medium sized stainless steel pot with the flame on low. All right. There's one of my two wonderful six quart Presto stainless steel pressure cookers. I have two of them. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on stirring this until it gets uh, pan toasted. When it's roasted really completely, then I'm going to let it cool down and grind it into the uh, into a farina like texture in the blender okay okay um, now I'm finishing up the pan roasting the dry pan roasting of the Bob's Red Mill organic Kamut okay uh, getting it ready for the uh, the grinding into a fine um, farina like texture in the blender later on after it cools down keep on stirring it All right. every once in a while you hear the sizzle that's that's the water evaporating from the heat okay uh, don't put it on high though keep it on a low flame low to low medium all right I, I can't stand electric stoves it's a good thing I have a gas one here um, and just stir it every once in a while so the roasting is even you want to really roast it well done without burning it all right there's no oil in here nothing so you want to keep on stirring it and cooking it try toasting it until all the water evaporates and until it actually gets toasted um, to be a very dark brown all right I'm just gonna leave it there and then um, after this uh, we will grind it in the blender uh, of course after it cools down okay it is done the organic Kamut is done it's all finished uh, dry roasting in a stainless steel pan I turned off the flame I'm gonna let it cool down uh, before I grind it in the blender or if you have a, a ninja or a food processor whatever you have you know usually a good blender with a strong motor motor is good enough you know to do um, to convert the whole grain into uh, hot cereal uh, cream of whatever it's going to be a very fine grind and as you can see the kamut is well done like I said before dark brown all toasted and I'll just let it cool down before I grind it okay here's the last step grinding the very well done dry toasted Bob's Red Mill organic Kamut it can be any grain you want doesn't matter I'm just using this Kamut as an example. Uh, very uh, well done. Dry roasted, right? And I'm going to grind it into a farina like texture so it becomes cream of Kamut. So, what I'm doing now, pouring in the grain. Okay, uh, still 
does. So a little condensation left on the bottom of the pot. That's strange. Well, it was a lot. I did the whole bag. Okay, then cover it up and put it on, uh, let's see, I guess, I'm going to try it on grind. Okay, you get the idea. Instead of boring you, you know, with the whole entire process, uh, I keep on moving it around. I, I take the blender out, the, the glass container, and I, I shake it so the, um, whatever grain is left on top will get ground up. And that's it. Then I, I pour it in a large Ziploc bag or plastic container and there is your ready to go organic whole grain hot cereal in this case cream of Kamut organic Bob's Red Mill okay this is James P Madonna uh, just saying hi to uh, two of his five Facebook groups which this video will appear on uh, Everything is food and holistic health talk. And I, I owe a lot of thanks uh, in regards to this recipe to my good friend and uh, macrobiotic expert from San Francisco, California, Mr. Dan E. Mount. Bye-bye.